Welcome to the channel, friends. So today's video is gonna be covering the Emerson Sensi Digital Smart Thermostat. And we're gonna be going over the setup menu. I also did videos covering manual override as well as full programming of a seven day schedule. But let's get into uh, the device and show you the setup menu, which you're gonna to wanna to know when you first install this in your home. So quick overview of the button layout. Uh, at the very top here at 12 o'clock is going to be your backlight, so you can light up the screen. It's going to stay on for a little bit. Then we have the up and down buttons, so that's going to control obviously your adjustments, your set point adjustments, things like that. Then you got the menu button, which will bring us into that setup menu. So I will explain it just in one second. But we have a mode button which toggles between heat, cool, and off. Auto and on fan button, so we want to keep that in auto. That will automatically uh, turn on with the heating or cooling as needed. And then we have the schedule on off button, which is super nice. Uh, Honeywell thermostats don't have this button. You have to go through the menu to access this feature. So I like the, the Sensi thermostats because they have it right on the display, right on the front panel of the device. It's awesome. Um, it's so nice to be able just to turn that off and on. But let's continue on. We have on the screen on the upper left, we have an X mark, which says we have no Wi-Fi signal. But if you had the signal, you would see some bars there. At the very top here, we have the time and the humidity readout. And it switches between the two periodically. And then we have here the battery indicator on the right-hand side at the very top right. And then below that, we have the temperature set point we have desired. So the set point is 70 that we want to set it to. And the big number in the middle is going to be your room temperature. Very self-explanatory. Um, if you have a little lock button here, it means you have your, your device locked. Okay, let's get into the menu now. We want to click on menu, obviously. And the first thing you're going to see here is it wants to connect and set up the Wi-Fi. Um, that's something I'm not going to be covering, but if you were to want to set that up, you would hit connect and then follow the prompts. But we're not going to be covering that, but that's what that does. So let's go ahead and hit the next button, which is the schedule button here. This one here is going to be your Celsius or Fahrenheit settings. So if you want Celsius or Fahrenheit for settings for your temperature readout, Simple as that. So we want to keep it at Fahrenheit, obviously, for we're in the United States. And next. So this here is going to be uh, the next one. Let's see what it says here on the list. This is your outdoor equipment configuration. So let's toggle between these. We have HP1, which stands for heat pump stage one, heat pump stage two. So first stage and second stage systems. Then AC0, which means uh, there is no AC. AC1 is AC with uh, one stage. And then AC2 is AC with two stages. So I keep this on HP1 if you want to use both heating and cooling. Because if you go to one of these that say AC, AC1 or 2, it's going to turn off your heating function. So if you want to use both methods here, both um, heating and cooling... Let's go back to that HP one. All right, so that's that's that. That's your outdoor equipment configuration. And then when we hit next, we're gonna have the indoor. I have it set to fan. Um, most likely you guys are too. Um, but the other options are gonna be gas one and gas GA two, GA one. So that's one stage, and then GA two will be gas two stage. Electric heat, one's uh, first stage, and electric heat's two stage. So same kind of principle. It's either one or two means either one stage or two stage systems or setups. Um, in my case, I'm going to leave it in on the fan because that's going to operate your fan. That's your indoor equipment. So moving along to the next one, that's going to be your reversing valve setting. And that's either going to be B or zero. So we're going to keep it on B. Um, it says to keep it on B for heat pumps. There is really not much description on this in the, in the actual manual. So 
if you have any questions, contact um, Emerson. Uh, but moving along, then we have the FN. So the FN is the circulating fan function, and the default is going to be off. And what's available is a selection from 10% to 100%. As you can see here, we can select up to 100%. So 100% would be 60 minutes of an hour. So if you had to set this like 50%, it would be like it would circulate for half a half an hour out of one hour um, accordingly. So it basically turns on your fan to circulate the air in the house. So that's why I have mine set to off. I'm not going to be using that. But if you want it to circulate 10% uh, of an hour, 20% of an hour, you would go ahead and, and select that. Okay, so moving along, we have the next function, which is going to be HAA. And that stands for Humidification Add Accessory. And your options are either on or off. So we're going to leave it on on. And then the next one's going to be Humidification Set Point. And you have some selections here as off, and then you have 5% increments. So how much you want to humidify your environment or, or your house. It goes up to 50. I'm going to leave it on off, but you would essentially set your set point for humidity. Going to the next one, we have dehumidification AA. So dehumidification add accessory, and that's essentially you have your OC, which is optimal comfort, or your option OD, which is optimal dehumidification. Now, there's two methods to this. The, the OD uh, provides that by overcooling to dehumidify. And then the OC is optimal comfort, and it's wired dehumidification. So you would have some kind of system hooked up to your thermostat to control that. There's not a much elaboration in the manual. So if you have to use these, I would contact uh, Emerson. Okay, so the next one here is dehumidification set point. So that's gonna be very simply your set point of the percentage you want uh, for it to dehumidify to. Uh, and we have it set to off, but we have the options from 40% and up. So we can go ahead and select 60% if you wanna keep it at 60% humidity in the room. And it will go ahead and do that and keep and maintain that set point. So we're going to go ahead and leave it off, though. And then the next one is going to be your wireless. And we have it set to on. And the other option is off. So we're going to leave that on. And we're going to hit next. And we went back to the very beginning of the menu. And that is the completion of the, the setup menu. Uh, there are some other options available through the Sensei app if you have that set up on your phone. I highly re recommend doing that uh, because there's no real way to reset this device. Uh, there's a soft reset, which includes uh, removing the batteries for two minutes or more and then installing them back into the device. And then you can go ahead and basically reset the device um, from scratch. Um, but you will have to manually adjust these um, just to make sure. There's no hard reset that I see in the menu here. Or in the manual, it does not show you how to hard reset the device to a factory default. So that might be on the Sensei app. Um, so there's only a soft reset you can do by taking out the batteries, waiting two minutes, and then um, going ahead and resetting things up. So I would highly recommend checking out the Sensei app and um, seeing what other options are available. Uh, all right, guys. So that covers the setup menu and the soft reset of the device to... Um, some factory defaults. Uh, so if you wanna actually check out my other videos, that would be great. I cover manual override as well as the full programming of the device. Uh, but that's gonna be it for the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please place them right down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and do so. I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.